Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to share the top seven dividend stocks that are paying $2,156 in monthly dividends. And that's based on having a $100,000 dividend portfolio owning equal amounts of each stock. Not only that, these stocks are up an average of 89.29% year to date. So you know you're making money from both the stock going up and from the dividends. And my top two picks today are paying an unbelievable 33 and 54% in dividend yield and have great track records. So stick around for all of the details. If you own these seven stocks for the last year, you would have made a 25.87% dividend yield and a stock return of 89.29% for a total return of 115.15%. When it comes to dividend stocks, most people focus on just the dividend return. And let me show you why that is a mistake. For example, Orchid Island Capital is a stock that has an amazing 16.77% dividend yield. However, if you you owned it for the last year, the stock has lost 37.72% of its value and your net return would be a negative 20.95%. When buying dividend stocks, I want stocks that are not only paying good dividends, but also appreciating in value. And just to be clear, these oil dividends are not going to last forever, but with Exxon and Chevron posting blowout record earnings and the ongoing worldwide energy crisis, I'm going to take advantage of these high returns as long as they last. Before we jump into today's top seven stocks, let's go over a few winning trades. On Friday, we closed two one-day trades and we made 144% on Chevron and 60% on Exxon. And here's a few more winners from Discord. And from our Discord, we've got quite a few. We've got Reeks Have It on Exxon Mobil with a 56.17% gain, another 55% gain on the SPY. We've got an ARC put, 53% from Tarzan. We've got Beach Bums with a nice 87.73% Exxon Mobil profit. UEC, 57.83% from Reeks Have It. We've got Bubba68, bought the ExxonMobil $100 call for $0.15 cents yesterday, sold them today at $0.65. Cents. Thank you, Jerry. You're welcome, Bubba. Great job. We've got King Nashor, 18.09% on Amazon. Plus, we've got a Chevron profit of 4.13% and an ExxonMobil of 2.4%. We've got another profit here from Beach Bum, 73.14%. And we've got Two Bag Tony ripping another 45.56% gain on MOS. So you can see what's going on. My Discord is all about helping people make money. And if you want all of our live trading alerts on stocks, options, and crypto, then come join our community. It's a tremendous value and you see the results we're getting every day. All right, now it's time to grab a huge cup of coffee and hang on because this is not your normal stock channel. Our first stock is Mesa Royalty Trust. The ticker is MTR and they pay a 9.32% dividend yield. If we come down, we can see their dividend frequency is monthly and I love monthly dividends. It makes it really easy for us just to buy and hold on to it. We don't have to worry about recapture strategies or getting in and getting out. Normally on a dividend stock, I just buy it and hold. Then if we come over to Google, we can see year to date, they are up 100.16%. Our number two stock today is Permian Basin Royalty Trust. The ticker is PVT. They pay a real nice 9.84% dividend yield. And this is another one of my favorites because their dividend frequency is monthly. And then coming over to Google, we can see year to date, they are up 94.93%. So these guys are not only paying a great monthly dividend, their stock is going up beautifully. Our third stock today is VOC Energy Trust, ticker VOC, and now we've taken a big jump on the dividend yield. They pay 20.08% and the dividend frequency is quarterly. And then for the year-to-date return, we just simply scroll down and here we can see it is 62.8%. Next up, we have MV Oil Trust, ticker MVO, and another huge dividend yield of 23.63%. The dividend is paid quarterly, and the year-to-date gain is 34.35%. Our fifth stock today is one that I own and love, BP Prudhoe Bay Royalty Trust, ticker is BPT, and another huge dividend yield, 31.68%. Dividend frequency is quarterly, and for year to date, they are up 310.65%. And what I really like about them is they recently had a high of 24.83, and they're currently trading at 17.74, and this is a stock that I'm looking to possibly pick up more of this week. Next up, we have Petróleo Brazil, ticker PBR. We can see they've got an annual dividend yield of 30.25%. Year to date, they are up 28.07%. 
And our seventh and final stock today is from Credit Suisse, and it is the Crude Oil Shares Covered Call ETN. The ticker is USOI, and you want to go to their website to look up all of the information. The first thing, we can see that the last closing price was $4.85, and this is what we're interested in right here. The current yield annualized is 53.63%. Now, I really recommend you study up on what an ETN is, and the quick way to understand this is to come over and click on the fact sheet, and that will bring you right over here to USOI's own fact sheet. It breaks everything down for you. It tells you what the covered call strategy is, explains everything, and this will really help you understand what it's all about. I bought them for the first time last month, and if we scroll down, we can see they paid it right at a 17 cent dividend. Let's go a little bit further here, and here it is. Last month, they paid a 17 percent dividend. The month before that, they paid a 25 cent dividend, 22, 19, 11, 17 cents. So they've been paying out very strong dividends dividends while the oil stocks have been strong. And this is the coupon history. Right now we can see their annual yield 54.13%. And what I'm after is this yield staying above 20%. And as long as the stock trades sideways to flat, I'm happy. And here's the spreadsheet I created for today's top seven dividend stocks. And now let's go over the spreadsheet I created because I think it brings all of our data home. We've got MTR, the dividend yield column, 9.32%. Our highest dividend yield on the day is USOI at 53.63%. The dividend frequency, this is important to me because whenever possible, I prefer monthly dividends. It simply lets me get in and get out when I want to. And normally on a monthly dividend stock, I will buy and hold it. Where if you're going with the dividend recapture strategy on a quarterly dividend, dividend, you can buy it just before the dividend X date, let it recapture its previous price and then sell it. And that's a complete separate different strategy. But for me, I'm talking about just buying and holding. If I've got a choice, I prefer the monthlies. Then we've got an annual return and that is the return on the stock. So MTR had an annual return of 100% and our total net return would be the sum of the dividend yield and the annual return, giving MTR a 109.32% total net return. PBT coming in at 104.84%, BOC 84.08%, MVO 57.63%, BPT coming in at a whopping 341.68%, PBR coming in at 61.9%, and you can buy the PBR A shares or just the regular PBR stock. Both will pull up on Thinkorswim or most of your different stock platforms. And then USOI at 46.63%. Now, most investors, they really focus on the dividend yield and just focusing on the yield, I think is a big mistake. You really need to take into account how that stock is performing. And if we just look at MTR, we can see a nice dividend yield 9.32%, but the total net return is 109.32%. By comparison, we've got MVO with an awesome dividend yield of 23.63%, but the stock only has an annual return of 34%. So our total net return is 57.63%. So almost half of what MTR, whenever you look at those total returns. And that's why I really like to take the time to break these out into the dividend yield and the annual return so you can see the big picture. And some of you might be wondering why I'm so big on USOI whenever their total net return is only 46.63%. Well, first, they've got the highest dividend, but the second reason is oil is at an all-time high. I'm not too sure how much higher oil is going to go, so I don't know how much higher these stock prices can go. But as long as USOI is trading sideways around $5 a share, we should have a very high high dividend yield, and that's why I like them so much as just a pure dividend play. Next, we've got our invested column, and we're just taking $100,000, dividing it by seven, and this is if we bought $14,285 of each stock where it would come in at. Our annual dividends would be $1,331.43 for MTR, and for USOI, $7,661. The monthly dividend, it breaks it down, and here you can see USOI ruling the roost at $638.45, and then we can see our total one-year return, just breaking down all of the math. And then to sum things up, if you owned all of these stocks, total dividend yield would be 25.87%. Annual return, 89.29% on the stock. The total net return would be 115.15%. Annual dividends, you'd make $25,868.57 in a perfect world. Of course, it won't work out that way. Monthly dividends coming in right at $2,156 and your one-year total return, roughly $115,100. 
$1,854. One of the things I love about making these videos is finding new stocks that will make both of us money. And my favorite dividend stock from today is USOI. And I'll be buying more of that one this month and we'll keep everyone updated in Discord. I do want to stress that USOI is an exchange traded note or ETN and these should only be purchased by knowledgeable investors who understand the risks of investing in ETNs. So if you like USOI, please do your due diligence. I really hope that you enjoyed today's video and if you want to learn how to read charts, trade options, receive our hot stock watch list, use my custom indicators or get all of our trading alerts, the links are in the description down below. Please be sure to like this video and remember we're still in a volatile market so be careful and trade smart. Peace and I'll see you on the next video.